Hello and welcome to the Scholar's Hand, the Cold Fan Mission by Nick. Let's uh, go to check the screen where it's slightly quieter, or at least less poundy, and uh, read the objectives. The Great Library at Benakda is one of the largest collections of knowledge in the world, outside of a keeper sanctuary, that is. Or at least it was, until the despotic Lord Arban inherited the seigneury after the suspicious death of his nephew. Now he's cracked down on the region and closed the library to all outsiders. Rumours from within the library fortress are scant, but it's said that he's aligned himself with a sect of grimy pagan hedge wizards called the Gaunt Brotherhood, and is attempting to unlock the magic power within the relic known as the Scholar's Hand. Cutty, who apparently has a contact within the Order of the Hammer, reports that the Hammerites would love to retake the library, but dare not risk the assault while Arvin has control of the Scholar's Hand. He's managed to get a contract for its safe return through various intermediaries. Seems like a dangerous game, working for the Hammers. But I'm sure Cutty knows what he's doing, and the money's good. It's a short journey from the city, but there's an inn at the base of the mountain that should be a good place to lay low until nightfall. Then it's just a matter of making my way up to the library through the abandoned mines and liberating the Scholar's Hand. I'll make my exit through the nameless ruins east of the library. The ruins are rumoured to be cursed, so it's a safe bet Lord Arben's men won't pursue me far once I've escaped the library itself. So, uh, the difficulty, the, the, the uh, objectives are the same on all difficulties. The really didn't say anything about different objectives and different difficulties. I'm going to stick with hard for my usual uh, hit point reservoir uh, to deal with uh, accidental falls and such, you know? Make your way up the mountain to the Great Library, you steal the skull's hand from under the nose of Lord Arben. And then when you've claimed your prize, you give it to the mountains through the ruins east of the library. Because Lord Arben's men will not dare venture into them. Alright, let's go. Oh, we have a shop. What do we have? Uh, 22 broadheads. One rope, one noisemaker. One rope is, is yeah, I guess it's fine. We can usually get by with one rope. Sparker, a clicker that generates short-lived but very hot sparks. Used to ignite anything flammable. Huh. Okay. Surprising how it looks like a lost city lever, but I guess maybe they're manufactured by the same people. We've got 2100 money. That's that's a generous, a very generous amount. What have we got? We've got some new objects here. Seed of fecundity. A pulsing organic seed infused with pagan magic. Causes spontaneous plant life to grow when thrown. 150. I mean, what does spontaneous plant life do? Because it doesn't sound like it's gonna be mossy, right? Hmm. A bottle of flammable oil. Try to create a puddle and ignite with a source of heat. Cost 190. Okay. A grenade. Impact grenade. A grenade of volatile explosives that will detonate spectacularly on impact. 300. A Vespid Hive, a magically sealed hive of stinging insects. Supposed to release an enraged cloud of them. Cost 180. Well, that one seems more conventional than the others. It's basically like a portable bug beast vomit, right? <laughs> and holy water. We're expecting undead? Hmm. We have a lot of money. So, I feel like some of these things might be worth trying. I mean, I don't know what these are good for or how they work, so... But they're pretty cheap. Let's just grab two of those. I don't know why I might want that. This is... Hmm... Can I grab a healing potion or two? Let's see. I wish I knew better what these were like. Uh, one of the things that, um, you know, and whether I'm likely to use it. See, like, can I use the spark with the with the uh, full of oil from the oil flask? I mean, if I are, obviously, but. Um, I mean, the oil flask I can throw, but the spark I presume have to be near a thing, and so am I going to set myself on fire? I don't know. What use do I have for pools of fire? I don't know. We're going to be burning 
Uh, out of control books. What use is a seed of fecundity? Why do we want spontaneous plant life? Don't know. Vespa hive. You know what? I don't really like stinging insects, even mine. Let's take one of them for curiosity's sake. We grab the second healing potion. 225 per rope arrow. Two moss. Six water. I mean, I would love some more of those. A few more moss and a few more waters. Oh, I was wondering if maybe another impact grenade might be fun. If I pick up only one more moss, I can still grab that and two water arrows. No, one water arrow. Offline one, really? Who's breaking the... Nah, the moss arrow is breaking this. Do I have a use for two massive explosions? I don't know. I really have no idea whatsoever. But you know, it's gotta be fun. All right, I mean, that's that's a reasonable mix of new toys and old. I would like to have more, get four more water arrows for the cost of one healing potion. You know what, I'm playing on hard. I have a bigger pool of, uh, Yeah, let's do that. Three water arrows. I'll get my, get my one more ass. Right. Oh, there's 70. They're not 50. That's why I'm miscounting. I'm thinking they're 50 as usual. They've gone up. Hmm. So for 175, I can get the one water arrow and then have 105 left. Well, that's not very, not very useful, man. Hmm. Nothing cheap enough to fill up on them. Four moss versus an eight water. You know what? Three moss. I tend to use moss very tactically. Let's go for the water instead. Maybe we won't have any use for either of them. I don't know. Let's just play. Murdering everyone in the in the whole inn. That's what it sounded like. Well, oh, that's not uh, great news. The rest of the guests. Overhang of this wood makes it rather <laughs> awkward to mantle. Hmm. That one opens as well? Okay. Oh, it's not an overhang, it's just decorative. Sorry. Does it overhang? I'm not sure why I couldn't. Uh, just jump the mantle and I can. It doesn't overhang. My mistake. Small broadheads. Houseful candles. Nice. That I can somehow stand on. Loaf of bread. Oh, very useful from Peckish. Oh, how? How many 
rooms does this place have? <sighs> like how I'm leaping to try and get at the uh, wall. Whoops, I'm stuck. What am I stuck on? Oh, we are unstuck. Very cramped in here, but. Uh, hmm. These rooms are very bright. Was one of them darker? Yeah, that's a nice dark room. No, it's not really, actually. Yeah, none of them are actually dark. Okay. I'm looking for one with a little more room by the door. To... Maybe we'll have a dark corner. I keep getting stuck in there because it's... it's not the most convenient sized hole for Garrett to uh, sit in. All right. Is there a dark corner in this one? No. Who's there? Who said that? There's a lot of jumping. Uh, Footsteps out there. Hmm. And they're moving fast. You know what? I'm going to go back to my own room. <laughs> Try going out the window. Swing around. There's a nice pool I could reach. Jumping into. Don't think I can climb around on the roof successfully. Let's see if we can make this jump. This 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 ledge overhang is gonna possibly make this jump a mess, but nope. Not successful. Hello. It's just plant life, there's nothing down here. Okay. I thought maybe that was hiding something. Where's the where's the surface of the water? Come on, come on, breathe, breathe. Climb. Breathe and climb, okay? Climb over here. <laughs> Nobody out here. More plants. No moss, no moss crystal going out here. All right, well we've got to get through the inn and back out. I suppose that's not hiding a cave, is it? trying to do guys I don't know if they might come out and see me I'll make sure they can't find me this is an auspicious start I'm trying to climb over some crates and I can't so just make a horrible clattering with my tap dancing shoes good work carrot absolutely pro leaving there you know I really should just swim up the waterfall right Let's listen to their footsteps. All right, I'm here. <sighs> Coming down, perhaps. Perhaps a little.
Four board heads and uh, the flash bomb. Throwing the best hive, and I decided to take a on the D and. Oh, there's a coffee pit there. Oh, he turns. Okay, and that guy comes back very quickly. Wow, so all these crates just break. So that's what. Well, I guess that's the good news. We found out what the seed of fecundity does. And coughed a lot. Grows plant life that is highly destructive to breakable things. That's kind of neat. That's still don't know what, what possible use it might be, but so it is kind of neat. Nothing making noise now. Do we both got food to that move? That's a little weird. Okay. I'm annoyed that I kept the crate just kept getting pulled in this corner. It was just Let's see look at it. I thought he came back really quickly. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> I was meaning to throw the best and hard one, but uh, you know, I mean, it's it's wood flammable. Oh, it throws its back. Oh, come on, Garrett. Throw the spark, which actually has a light as well. Garrett, what are you? Garrett! These crates are, uh, I don't know, I just, for some reason getting stuck on things I wouldn't normally have expected to get stuck on. But then these crates are objects, that's why I couldn't, maybe that's, well, there may not be enough room, but also that's probably why I couldn't mantle them, because object mantling is weird. And not brushes. Rogues seem to have it in for everybody in the end, so I'm not gonna be shy about knocking them out. Somebody above me or on the floor above? I'm not, I'm not clear. Valuable in the washing out. Yeah, there's a whole floor there. These <laughs> people can. Who are these people and what are they doing here? So, you know, I was like hoping to get by without knocking him out, but so, uh, you know, without. Well, I was thinking of doing my usual playstyle where I try and be kind of ghost. ghosty, but these are the fast, right? The speed of their footsteps is clear that they're 
very quick. Okay, so that will get us right out of the game again. Nobody, nobody, there's someone out there as well. Got some footsteps on the grass. They're baking some more bread. Oh, that's too bright. I want to know who these guys are and what they're doing, murdering everybody in this. What's going on in this place? Just the wind, I guess. A knife. Oh, hello. Come on, let's go, Blitz. Who's creeping around there? Damn it. Nobody. As soon as I find you, you're dead. There's nobody here. I'll find you. Damn you. Maybe he can't come down here. Maybe he's. I think the noise came from up there. Come back out here, you tapper! Hey! Hold it right there, tapper! Guards! Back up! Here! Whoops. Oh, he's definitely having pathfinding troubles. This way, thief! Take my route back now. What I was trying to do here. He's having trouble on those stairs too. From the sound of it. What? Oh, you went for a friend. Yeah, they're very fast. Look at that. Why are you coming over here, man? There's nobody over here. Can't run faster than an oak! Oak! Hang on. That's not right, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Where's my, where's my sparker? Not there. Well, that was, that was entirely... Hiding worthwhile. Let's try that again, shall we? We're not speaking to the guys there. Someone behind me. Still think this water, this torch is worth taking out. It's very bright without it. Try, Garrett, not making a ton of noise, <laughs> putting down a goblet this time, shall we? Um, I wasn't even trying to pick it up, it's just uh, highlighted the wrong thing. Alright, let's let's do this one sneakily. What was that noise? Uh, it sounded like a rope. What was that noise? It sounded like a pale mantle. Why can't I mantle that? Um, Noisy construction. Noisy boots. What is wrong with that? Where can I mantle it? Maybe there isn't actually enough room above it because of this beam? Feels like this should be, but it's very annoying. There it goes. I don't know. Yeah, the, there, isn't, there isn't standing room, and so I guess the mantle detection was failing sometimes. I had some paper on him. The guy came with the archer from upstairs. And it seems plausible that that's the instructions. I'm sure if I should throw these guys all in the waterfall pool, you know. Do I have do I have objectives not to kill anyone? I don't. Well, let's wait and find out what they're up to. Maybe maybe they're just ordinary 
got folks in rogue, so I don't need to try and murder them. Oh, I see there was a gobble right behind and it highlighted. That's why I picked it up. Okay. Good to know. Oh. Hello. But I heard the sound coming down the chimney. Can I can I get up here? Sexy answers no. No, oh, it was a waste. Well, good thing I bought extras. Old man's tickle, three barrels, forty-five. Grotter's finest, one barrel, twenty-eight. Blackwell Estate Brandy, six bottles, sixty. Foodstuffs and provisions, fifty-five. Lord Arvin, tax, two twenty. These latest tax hacks from Lord Arvin, I'd have been better off staying in Blackrock under Guild be damned. Not that I've even many customers left. Time was I'd catered to the visitors to the library and the miners, but Arvin's put a stop to that. Nothing coming out of that mine now but the stench of death. They've, they've robbed the box, robbed the money box, that's my job. It's now personal now. Mother Taffers. There's a guy out there still. We've just murdered everyone. Let's make sure we don't set the inn on fire. Oh shit. Yeah, mantling that might be awkward too, but you know what? Do try it, right? Can I? A lot of noise on the table. Let's see, can I manually douse that? Probably not. What's the situation here? <clears throat> Guy patrolling stairs. Ooh, it's weird. Sometimes I'm sometimes I'm dim dimly lit here. Sometimes it's brightly lit. Right, I can kind of see him now. How oh, far does he come this way? The archer is just standing still, so. so? Was that you? It's all it's very brightly lit, even though a lot of it feels very dim. It's, oh, well. it's unfortunate. Well, and the archer does turn around. <laughs> Which way is he facing? Oh no, maybe he just wobbles. Oh, there he turns. Now he's facing this way. <clears throat> Is something to watch out for. <clears throat> More bodies. I did just slaughter everybody. I guess I was lucky to get out of there alive. Right, so this guy comes down here. We'll, uh,. Try and surprise him. <clears throat> ah, noise. Sounded like a bonk. You can hide down there. Where are we being lit from here? It's very bright. And the only light sources are on the other side of the fire. I mean, I guess the window, maybe. I guess it's still daylight outside, so... Light comes in through the window, unfortunately. Yeah, there is a grating there, but I can't... Unfortunately, do anything about it. Okay. So the guys upstairs, I'm hearing? <coughs> <coughs> Wanted poster. Wanted. Garrett. Numerous charges of theft and related crimes. Reward offered by Senor Lord Robert Arvin. Dead or alive. Doesn't look at all like me. <laughs> it looks like these guys chose dead as well. Who's... 
Yeah, you could probably, maybe, I don't know, I don't know how easy, I, it'd be easy enough to sneak by all these people if you weren't worried about uh, searching the whole place. I don't know how easy it would be to sneak by them otherwise. Maybe doable. Right, yeah, that's all the sound from upstairs. I mean, there's downstairs all candles and stuff, there's patches of darkness. Probably, probably sneakable. Uh, room 5, was Talbot. See, Garrett wasn't even staying here, big guys. So Lord Arben just has it out for me. How does he even know who I am? How do I even know who I am? These are the important questions. I like I like this room. The staircase in the middle. That goes on the side here, it's very cool. Right, two guys walk in the halls. Did you hear something? Right, and these are then the bedrooms. Okay. That we were running along. be the whole of this place then. Okay, do I want to dispose of these guys permanently? I mean, they're not really going to be doing anybody any, any good, are they? Not you. I feel like maybe I should just... Having a few fewer thugs in the world... Would be a good idea. On the other hand... You know, what are they gonna say? Like, yeah, we went there and we all woke up. You know what? Can we? Can we? That's it. That's it. Let's make it embarrassing for them. They were supposed to kill me. I was in room five, right? They had the information. They slaughtered everybody, and they're all gonna wake up in my bed, and they're never gonna report that to Lord Arvin. That's what I'm gonna do. Conscience will be clear. The water in the spring will be clear. Which is useful if you want to drink from it. Is it a spring? The pool. The message to Lord Arbor is should he send any more thugs after me is also clear. Perfect clarity is what we're going for here. Bear with me as I bear these bodies up and downstairs for the sake of a silly joke. <laughs> what else would I do? Oh, nice carpeted stairs, I didn't even realise that. Ah, oh, there's one more here. Downstairs, I want to say, plus there's one more outside. I feel like that's the total we're dealing with, so uh, a little bit of uh, just won't make too much noise in case the guy outside is still here. A little bit of corpse carrying. Makes for riveting watching, I'm sure, but you know. I'll never let audience engagement get in the way of a good joke. And this is why I have 10 million YouTube subscribers, and you don't.
not run out of silly things to say while I'm doing this. Uh, alright. Last of the indoor ones. I hope there's only one outside. There might be two. I heard one set of footsteps. Um, but they looks like an explorer out the front. It's too late for the other inhabitants of the uh, occupants of the inn. I mean, he's complaining about lack of. Customers. I mean, I guess maybe this is the busy season and he still has an empty room. That's obviously an employee, employee working the bar. Yeah, maybe he only had three customers. Well, business is going to be even tougher after news of the slaughter gets out, doesn't it? Right, well that's that's most of them. I hope I didn't miss any pockets to pick there, that would be embarrassing. Uh, let's get let's get see who's patrolling around outside and um, see what we can do about them. Did I search behind here? I did. So there's a back door, which I think I'll go to. It seemed more convenient than the front door. Only darker here. There's definitely one more. It's not that okay, right, We don't need to cut these people up. An archer. Team is just the one. What's that? Who goes? Nothing to be seen now. Ah, oh, it's notice on the door. That'll be best for you. Oh, it's a very nice little win. Shame about the slaughter, I guess. Side door, but I guess I can do that afterwards. Lord Arvin probably wants to take over this place as well. Well, if we're going to his place. Maybe we can do something about his ambitions to control the area as well. There we are. They like a vesper. <laughs> we definitely should leave the wanted poster here, right? As a signature. I was going to say, would they like a vesper hive? But that might be uh, a little too much. Going a little too far. Alright, I guess we're done here at the end. Let's go close that side door. around the side. Could climb up there, but there seem, seems to be no reason. What does this message say? Be it here known by the law and right of Lord Robert Arvin, the Senior of Benakthar and the Five Valleys, Lord Protector of the Great Library, this inn, falling under the domain and jurisdiction of his lordship, hath been condemned forthwith. All occupants therein are found guilty of the crime of conspiring to harbour a known criminal. For this treasonous action against his lordship, the penalty being death, hereby executed by a cadre of Lord Arban's finest soldiery. 
Oh, well, they're not, though, because they had soldiers. Maybe I should have drowned them all. Oh, wow. So, okay. I thought this was the way out, but no, this is this is the way in. Into the inn. Yeah, that's where we came from. We need to go up the hill to we'll get to Arvin's place. Oh, his finest soldiery is, uh... Well... I think he hired more cads than cadres. It seems like we have undead in the mines ahead. Hello. A few, a few rendering issues up there in the in the distance. Oh, this is not the mines, this is the... There's the zombie I heard. Those doors are actually locked. Is, is this the only way in? I didn't actually check to see. Yeah, they don't open from this side. Alright. Let's go over the wall. Is there a lamp just hovering in midair? Oh, it's not. It's, it's just, there is a lamp post there. Where is that guy going? Okay, he's not coming this way. way out if we need it. Let's see what's in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A shiny pebble. Hmm. What possible use could that have? Oh, there's another zombie I didn't see before. Hammer flavored. There's that. Ooh. See, that's a library, but that's surely not the library we're after. Ah, this is the mines. Fire arrows, okay. Got room to check out there. Right, the hammer axe used to be here, I suppose. This may be the last entry in the record, for you now remain to work the mines, and Lord Arvin's grip tightens daily. Now the wretched man sends his basest thugs to oversee the operations. He does all he can to shut down the mine entirely, till now acting without open hostility, but the balance hath tipped in his favour now. He fears the Hammerites here on his doorstep, and does what he can to rid his mountain of our presence. Well, this is one Hammerite that shall not be taken without a fight. My hammer and my conscience are clean, and should I face death, I shall face it with open eyes. And then, after death, my eyes shall remain open, and my groans pollute the land. That's not a probable. A probable mushroom. Uh, oh, don't come in here, man. Uh, no, he is going to come in here, isn't he?
Come on. Uh, Come through, go out the other doors, do your business. Uh, you know, it's a tough life being a zombie. Uh, There's a door behind him. Hello. That's got to be worth checking out. Your hammer is clear. Your fire arrows are clear. Your gemstones are clear. Father, I beseech thee to dispatch a division of inquisitors to put a stop to the actions of this Lord Arban. His grip on the region of Benakdar tightens each day. There are disappearances now among mine own brethren, as well as the miners and common folk I wrote to thee about previously. Our numbers dwindle nightly as men are ripped from their beds by unseen hands. Smoke rises from the fortress library from the burning of tomes he hath deemed heretical, with no oversight from the Order of the Hammer. Arcanists, known for their workings in abstruse blasphemous magics, have been seen arriving as his guests, and the people of the Five Valleys live in much fear. I pray only that this letter reaches thee before I too am taken. Overseer Albrecht. Connect our minds. It seems like you didn't get a chance to even post the letter. Hello, what do we got up here? Another oil flask. I didn't. Hmm, I wonder if there was any in the inn. I saw bottles, right? And didn't. Kind of didn't register them. Is there anything out the window? Probably not, right? <sighs> oh, you can't get on... Oh, right, actually, there's a stairway. That'll be another way in here, then. More, we'll use more than a way out. dead friend then. There's somebody upstairs. There's a downstairs there too. This place is more extensive than I uh, took it for. See nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, he goes out on the balcony there. That's a fancy window. Surprised it's not a hammer fit. This guy's got to come back in here then, right? Springs of a haunt. Uh, oh, there's a tower. Can't rip my way up there. I can find a ladder, I suppose. You heard nothing. Arrows. Well, we're getting equipment for the mines or later. Hello. Not much left of this hammer, right? Holy water. I can see why that might be of use. This bloody barrel that I can't pick up. Shame, because I've got explosive, you know, tools. Builder, to forgive me for hiding so, for I am but a craven coward. Then a few killers men are even now searching up the last of us, and I pray they do not think to check the attic. 
The bodies of my former brethren still lie where they were cut down. Lord Arban's thugs care not even to move them, let alone give them a consecrated burial. And I fear they shall rise in unrest, for the stench of decay hangs heavy upon the building. Oh. I did not see... So I could, in theory, push... Push this and get it down there. I mean... Is it worth it? It's a lot of, a lot of back, back and forth. Pedaling. And who, who really am I going to explode with it? I mean, there's this red zombie man, right? We might as well have some fun with him. Maybe it'll attract too much attention when it goes clatter. Maybe we should use our exploding grenades instead of, instead of a barrel that's provided free for the, uh, people with the stupidity to want to push it across the floor slowly and painfully. Or person, being me. May not be people. Maybe, maybe nobody else was as foolish as this. How does this work? I don't know if you've, if you've even got the range on this striker, to be quite honest. And they slow down when they're when they're searching. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Went back outside again. Ah. Good plan here, good plan, Garrett. Very good plan. Not only did you alert everybody, you didn't explode a single zombie. Pro. Absolute pro. Still want to follow through with this ridiculous plan. I mean, yeah, it looks like it might have the range. Okay, so the spark aid does you do not need to be. It's the fact that it flings the spark makes it slightly vaguely useful. Come on, come on, guys. They're all just looking everywhere except where the noise came from, right, so... The ridiculous thing about this. I'm sitting here, lying in wait with my cunning trap to trap some enemies I don't need to, to make a lot of noise that I don't need to. Uh, why do I do this to myself? I don't know. What is this shiny pebble good for? And why is it stackable? Maybe I can go skim it across the water. Alright, if the footsteps are kind of back to normal. We know our friend walks through here, and up these stairs. Wait, they, do they walk up these stairs? Yeah, the red, the red, the red... The red guy did. Might be him now. Yes, okay. No, no, where's he, where's he going? No, where's he going? I saw, I saw him when he turned away. Come on, man. Don't make me lay a ridiculous trap and then not go near it. It's just. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on! Explode, what? Alright. Here we are. 
wonder if the zombies burn. They do. Well, finally, justification. And then that, I think I will end the episode here. Thanks for watching. Next episode, we shall uh, head downstairs again. see what my folly has wrought. Uh, so I'll see you then.